actually going to be the usual tool for Zero Suit to play Keep Away with. So if that is something that we see UK implement, it does kind of mix up the timing that the Zero Suit may be used to for the Zare. However, that is just one more thing the Zero Suit can kind of change and work around. If you delay it, for example, you can get a grab. If you do it earlier, it may mess up the timing and hit the puff either way. So it's pretty interesting. It doesn't necessarily make the matchup easier or harder, but it does change the dynamic to make it a little more of a Less 50 -50. comfortable, oh, right? Yeah. You know, like that's going to throw doorstop off his angle. And I mean, you, you bring that up, right? Like, you know, puff being squashed and all that. It, it is interesting to note that like there will be times where it'll be pretty smart if Ekit or Ukit wants to stay on the ground, mm -hmm. right? Because Zero Suit has trouble opening up short characters on the ground. And even if Puff's ground speed is atrocious, I think we all know that by now. Right. You no, know, Zero Suit struggles with characters like Pichu and Olimar and Pikachu and all those other short characters. And Puff is one of them, but let's see how it plays out. We no longer have to speculate. We can watch it. Doorstop and Ukit getting into it game one, and we immediately see the duck under the Zair, just like you said. Okay, maybe I should have said it too loud. That was uh, like an immediate implementation, but as I do say that, you know, Doorstop is the one who told me. Obviously, Doorstop <laughs> has the information as well, so we're going to have we to see. We weren't going to not talk about it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one thing I do want to talk about, too. Down angled forward tilt is going to be a really good tool for Zero Suit as well. We're probably mm -hmm. going to see a lot of it. It covers some fantastic space, really good to stuff out approaches from Puff. So we're going to see a lot of Zare, a lot of down angle forward tilt. And right now, they're just looking for those straight hits to try and get something started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything that can scoop or hit on the ground for ZSS, which is not a lot of moves, right. to be frank. Uh, that's going to be really, really big in this matchup, as you've already seen. Big juggles. This is where Doorstop is going to want to be able to go in, play that advantage state, and weirdly, you know, uh, keep the puff in the air. It's like that game you play in elementary school where everybody gets in a circle and tries to keep hitting the balloon into <laughs> right. the air without right. grabbing it. Like, that's basically what Doorstop needs to try to play, or he can just kick it back up into the air, pop it, and say, fun's over. Right, right. That's when you get it stuck in the rafters. Yeah. Okay, all right, everyone go on. Like, oh. <laughs> Getting the kite stuck in the tree, <laughs> <Right>. like. <laughs> That is exactly, you know, I think up air is the move that I would probably hallmark as one of the better tools for Zero Suit in this matchup. It's going to add to a lot of damage and kind of just take up space. If you go to jump and do that up air, Puff is going to have to mix up where she's going to try and find that footing. Can't really be center stage as it usually is. And down smash, usually a move with not a lot of cooldown, but Puff is so fast to punish right there. Okay, nice little safe back air and then making some space. Doorstop, though, getting the <laughs> spike with the down air, getting creative to take these stocks immediately right out of the Ooh. gate. But you can fire him back, does take that first one. And again, as Puff, I mean, you've got a lot of tools that can turn the game around in the blink of an eye. Right, right. Okay, I'm glad I mentioned that thing without you know, explaining it before the match because we're seeing it implemented a lot. Really good movement from you to try and get around some of those tools that Zerosu has, but these combos, once. Oh my god, once Doorstop <laughs> finds the openings, it's a lot of damage and some really good stage control as well. But hold on. Those pounds are going to be such a big opener. 49% after the sour dash attack. The sweet spot definitely could have kept that advantage going. You can finally find in a bit of a groove, but is it too late to take this game one? Because Doorstop definitely has been the one to get out to the early advantage. And I can't see it being easy to stop <laughs> Doorstop at this moment. Although with the ZSS offstage, if you can burn those resources as Puff, you're in a great position. Right, neutral air can be good if they take a predictable route, but that down smash into boost kick is exactly what the Puff fans do not want to see. Tons of knockback, really all the time in the world to follow up, and a fantastic showing from doorstop for game one. And you saw how many of those down smashes connected as well, and particularly in those key moments, you know, doorstop keeping him holstered until he unholsters for <laughs> the KO, but you know, I think especially showing off that, you know, hey, Puff does have some things that are good for her when she's on the ground. She doesn't want to just kind of stay in the air as much as possible like she does in a lot of other matchups and doing a really good job of calling out those timings when Kit was figuring, hey, let me just uh, pop on the ground. Let me just see if I can annoy the CSS a little bit and instead you just go right into the paralyzer. Right, right. It's gonna be interesting though, a good adaptation from doorstop is already jabbing after the Zare jab so very fast. So if you do catch Yukit jumping out of shield, you can probably hit that jab before. Oh no, that's gonna be so dangerous. What the heck is going on? Doorstop still had Ooh. double jump and then Yukit had already burned so many off stage that with that semi spike, Doorstop gets a little bit of a gift of a stock and once again, finding something a little early gets to play with the lead. Yeah, and there's that grab that we talked about too. If you're caught crouching for too long, 
Doorstop can get some extra damage with those grabs as well. There's a nice little Zare into the forward air. Big combo potential, but not really finding a huge mark here. However, those up airs, mm. I'm still so, so worried when one of them hits. <laughs> Smash four flashbacks, right? right, right. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? No. <laughs> Surely didn't... something's going to happen, right? <laughs> like, oh, help me. <laughs> Probably what Puff is thinking right now. Stuck in the corner after a pretty ambitious cross up with the back air. Gets grabbed as well now. I'm, if one of those things hits, I'll be thrilled. But at the moment, not really finding the mark. Mm -hmm. And you gets just not like, not patient enough, I feel like, right? Where. You can kind of match ZSS kind of blow for blow in terms of, hey, like you want to play the long game, I can do that too. You might get some chip damage at me, but you know, I can also chip back, right? You'll mess up, you'll whip a couple of times and I can get back in there. But now, you know, playing from behind, you do have to kind of go in. Doorstop doing an excellent job of mixing up that recovery, even just the tiny little hit of the toe on the boost kick. Right. Just throwing off that timing for you, Kit, making it a little bit harder to keep up that ledge trap. Doorstop keeping up that pressure. We love to see that. Three stock to one lead looking strong. All right, but speaking of strong, if I had to make a list of aerials, Jigglypuff back air, probably one of the better ones. One of the stronger yeah. ones. <laughs> oh, and the shield pressure from that pound as well, something Doorstop has to worry about now. Could be some some explosive options from UK, but right now Doorstop just kind of playing lockdown right now, playing very safe, mm. just nickel and diming. Mix up on the timing of the jab as well. And again, for the nickel and diving, I mean, that was a penny, right. if anything, right? You know, just got the 3%, but did knock away the puff, get the puff into the air, and then you can start up that juggle game again. Whereas you can, uh, again, this kind of feels a lot like that first set that we watched between Wolfie and Comet, right? Where there's, there's a difference in the damage output above anything else that even if both of these players are somewhat, you know, even in terms of neutral and everything like that, the damage output has really been favoring doorstop. And you can see that here, 115%. It just takes a small confirm. Doorstop has got them all practiced up. Zare and Bear true to send us into game number three for the 2-0 lead for Doorstop. Right, right. It takes a little bit of confidence, too. We saw two different Zare and Bears take two different stocks in that game, too. But I think Doorstop is finding the connections, feeling pretty comfortable going into it. But you could still had some really good ideas that just fell a little bit short when it came down to implementation. Not on Yukits, you know. No fault, of course, but mm -hmm. Doorstop has so many different options to use. Obviously, Flip Kick, so very great in terms of getting out of the corner. And UK was trying to put that pressure on, and some really good combos and shield pressure, and definitely some tricks that are lurking and we have to watch out for. But so far, Doorstop is playing so very careful that they haven't really been uh, too big of a factor. Yeah. On game number three, UK picking the, <laughs> the destroyed Skyworld music, like he's going into the Mime Palace. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's like, everything is crumbling. Can I bring it back <laughs> on that anime protagonist stuff? And then you just pick Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> Heart of the people. Oh, there's another good utilization. There's a lot of, like, sort of drift or slide that Puff has when she does that landing aerial into the turnaround. So we're seeing some good adaptations from Doorstop to get around it and kind of space it out. Okay, coming up ledge with an aggressive Ooh. aerial right there. A little falling up there into rest. That's the first huge combo we've seen from you, Kit and Doorstop. Forgetting about that, when you hit that rest in this game, it goes faster, you recover faster. A little bit of a scramble situation that does find Doorstop coming out a bit on top, but now playing from behind, caught some questionable DI from you, Kit, to even up the stocks, but the fact that it's even here, going into one minute, both of them at two stocks. Yukit did have that strong start and see if that momentum can stay. Even uh, that second stock, I was getting worried. That sing, maybe a little bit more to the right, could have been yes. a very different sing. Doorstop almost taking the stock with 70 something after the hit. This is looking so dangerous right now, but giving that roaring start, I still feel like Yukit's got some fight. Mm hmm. I mean, at this point, I think, yeah, fishing for a reversal off ledge is probably going to be tough to find because you've already played that card, right? right? Doorstop's getting ready. You know, Jack of Spades, I've seen it. I'm ready to counter the Jack of Spades. But you can nice drift away in the disadvantage. Was well, a little bit more patient getting off the ledge, but Doorstop immediately tossing out that meaty grab to get the punish, and we're just a single stray hit away. Not that one yeah. <laughs> from taking the stock. You know, ZSS, oh. uh, some questionable move strengths right. at times. Yeah, oh, that's huge. The whiff grab is a big opportunity, but good get of attack from Doorstop. To break up that tension. The forward tilt is going to take that stock, and Doorstop looking poised to take it here. Possibly the last stock for UK here at full bloom. This is a good way to get it started, but good dodge. 
Uh, you kids got to dig deep now, get another one of those explosive stocks, maybe save it for the last one as well, but got to get in there, got to deal that damage. Doorstop is quickly running away with this one. Do you have the ZSS in the corner? Little recovery mix up continues with the Zare. Doorstop hitting that flow state right now. <laughs> Just again, improv, customization, right. it's all there. You see the tether cancel into the aerial. I, I know that Doorstop is cooking something, <laughs> and Yukid is not going to want to see that result. Already the down smashes are coming out, not finding the mark, but no big punishes either. Oh, hold on, that could have been huge. Yeah, but you kid had already committed to throwing out that back air, so needed to jump again to turn around and then throw out another back air. Too many frames, doorstop got out of there. Starting to throw out a lot of those side Bs because that plasma whip can definitely take a stock if your DI is not on point, which you've already seen once, but Zare into back air, seen that a couple of times as well, and doorstop uses it to close out another game, and that one, the final one of the set, another 3-0 for one of the powerful players in this bracket. Yeah, this top eight is shaping up to be a pretty exciting one. Doorstop moving on into the loser side. And we got Comet moving on as well. Fantastic showing from Wolfie and fantastic showing from Yuka as well. But it's just been nonstop action, right? I feel like there's just been so much momentum going into these losers. Eighth matches that it's hard to just, you know, you're playing top 48 earlier in the day. You sit down and you have to deal with that, like if, if you're UK, you have to deal with doorstop hitting all of these airs in the bears. If you're Wolfie, you have to deal with Comet hitting some wild combos. It is pretty tough.